Well, it was a, uh, it was a great game. Um, you know, their kid was terrific. Uh, you know, we knew he was good coming into the game. Um, and he was, uh, I knew in the first inning with his delivery and the ability to throw his change up and to locate his pitches, I knew it was going to be a struggle to score, especially with the wind blowing in the way it was. And Madison got into one, and that kind of got us some momentum. Uh, we made some really big pitches with people out there. Coley did a great job. Clark was outstanding. And, uh, and we played pretty solid defense behind Clark. Uh, the strikeouts were key, and um, that was a, a big part of it. Um, but just a big win against a really, really, really good team and uh, proud of our players. You know, that UNC Greensboro, we lost a game in which we only gave up one hit. You know, they out hit us nine to three. You know, maybe the, maybe the, we're having some good fortune come our way because it wasn't with us that day, and maybe it's even and out now. And, uh, but I'm proud of our team, and hopefully we'll come to the park ready to go tomorrow. After Clark gave up seven walks last week, was it nice to see his command, no walks, and then the career high 12 strikeouts? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, man, he was terrific. He had, uh, you know, his breaking ball was really working. Uh, I still, uh, you know, his command was, of his fastball was, he'll probably, you know, he'll probably say it was a C. I'd say he's probably a B. Um, he still can command it better, um, even though he didn't have any walks. But, but he had life on his pitches. He had a great breaking ball going. Um, you know, he can be dominant when he's on, and, and uh, he was awfully good tonight. But he scattered some hits, and he pitched well with people out there. That team puts a lot of pressure on him. You know, they got 30-some stolen bases, and uh, it's an awfully good team. And uh, we beat a good team tonight, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Clark and Coley and our guys for that. You surprised that that ball mass get got out into this win? I didn't think a ball would be hit out the left field the day before the game. And when it was hit, I knew he got it. Uh, I mean, I knew he hit it well. I still wasn't sure um, because I've, I've seen balls go to die out there when the wind's blowing like this. And uh, But it's just, for it to get out, just shows you how well he hit it. I mean, if normal day, that's probably three quarters of the way up the bleachers. And we don't see many home runs hit that far here. And uh, just put a great swing on it when we needed it in a big way. How much did the wind and the coal have to do with it? The fact that you guys only got three hits. You had a lot no, of that balls pitcher. In the air. Yeah, we had a lot of balls in the air, but that pitcher is really good. He's uh, he's had a funky delivery. He commands his pitches. He's got a big league changeup, and uh, our guys couldn't pick the ball up, and it was a struggle. And I knew in the first and second inning they came back. I, I can't see it. I can't see. I can't pick it. And it's uh, sometimes lefties can do that to you. And I knew it was going to be a struggle. And you know we were hoping for a break here, or there, and uh, you know. They, they misplayed a ball in the outfield, and I guess the next pitch uh, or so, you know, Madison got into one, hit one out, and uh, they got some momentum for us. But they're so good offensively, I didn't think it was enough. And then Jonah with a great, great base running play uh, there, uh, you know, in the last part of the game. And, uh, you know, that was uh, the difference. He make that move on his own? Yeah, it's all, it's all instinctive and on his own. And what Jonah is is a baseball player, and he saw uh, their catcher throw the ball down to first earlier in the game, uh, you know, to be sure, you know, he, he didn't let it go. And he saw it earlier in the game and instinctively, um, he thought he might have some time to score. He felt it was the right opportunity to try it. And he did, and it was uh, obviously the difference in the game. Did he tell you out of the time or after he scored that he had picked up on the catcher? No, Jonah picks up, I don't have to, Jonah picks up on stuff. And it's, I don't have to, um, I don't have to ask him. You know, there's some other guys that, you know, that I worry for what they pick up, not Jonah. He, he, uh, he picks up everything, and uh, he knows what pitchers are trying to do. He knows what we're trying to do defensively. He's like a coach on the field, and uh, that's just uh, – he, he may not be the most talented baseball player, but instinctively and savvy and watching the game and trying to learn from the game, he's one of the best I've ever coached at that. Any Whatever. update on TJ? TJ's, uh, he's going to be out a while. Uh, I don't know how long. Uh, you know, he's at the hospital right now getting an MRI. He's had a quad issue, and it flared up on him in a big time way today. And I don't know if the cold weather contributed to it or not. Um, you know, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because uh, we need him in there, obviously. Uh, but uh, hopefully, uh, I don't see him playing the rest of the weekend. And I hope it's not much. You know, I hope, I hope like crazy, we can get him back for next weekend. But. You know, I'm not so sure at this point. You continue to trust Coley Bowers in those situations, and did you consider well, it all I mean, going to Reagan? A, that was a big uh, – we were going to go to Reagan if the lefty would have came up. Uh, you know, but Coley did a great job, and we have as much confidence in Coley as we do anyone. And uh, those strikes and, you know, when he throws that fastball after about seven or eight change-ups in a row, it looks like he's like 95. And uh, he's just commanding his pitches a lot better, and he's very, very difficult, you know, for hitters because he's got three pretty good pitches. and. Um, been a, he's been huge for us, you know, while we're 
you know, waiting to get Tyler back. And uh, but now we'll have uh, Will to go tomorrow, and we'll have uh, uh, Josh will be ready, and we'll have some other guys, and uh, hopefully we can you know, put another good performance uh, against a really good team tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Yeah.